direction that Birmingham is going in large part is because of the partnerships that we have with institutions in the corporate community, higher education, nonprofit, as well as with our elected officials and our mayor's office. So uh, I've been in Birmingham my entire life, and I've never seen the amount of collaboration that we have across sectors as we have it today. So we're always trying to figure out how we can facilitate conversations about um, economic development and community development projects that will be value added um, for our customers. And our Smart Cities uh, platform is really um, how we've decided to grow our business for the next 25, 30 to 50 years. One of the things that we recognize as a team and I think as an administration is that sort of single-minded approaches to economic development or economic mobility often fail, right? So if you just say, I want to make sure that everybody has a job. Okay, that sounds really, really good. But then when you start to think about what is the quality of those jobs, um, are, are we putting people in a position where they actually have economic security, right? Where they aren't living paycheck to paycheck. Or what, what often happens is you'll get someone where they make enough money to lose benefits, but not enough money to actually take care of their families say or to be able to again. contribute. That, that, was, that was powerful. Say that again. <laughs> so sometimes what happens is people get a job and you're making just enough money to lose whatever benefits that you qualify for, but not enough to actually change substantively the economic position of your family or of your community. That happens so much when we don't focus on quality jobs. Our third through sixth grade program is all hands-on and that means that we're doing computer coding, we're introducing them to um, various aspects of agriculture, so hydroponics, germination, reading theaters. How do we throw just about everything at students to be able to say, I love that and it's fun, or I really, really don't like science? Although I don't like to hear that, but it's a reality that that's not everyone's path. If your path is theater, we want to figure out how can we bring those different activities together so that that spark within those students, they can identify that and parents can support them in growing and cultivating that with their children. Companies sometimes overlook quality talent that's right here in their backyard. Um, you will be surprised by how many companies that I would talk to who would say, well, yeah, we don't really recruit IT talent at Miles, or they don't consider Miles. Um, and a lot of them had relationships with colleges like A&M. Some of them had relationships with Alabama State. But there are a lot of great historically black institutions, predominantly black institutions, uh, University of West Alabama being one of them, that produce great talent. And companies were overlooking those opportunities. Um, and so in the space that I was in, I had the opportunity to create access for students who were very bright, but didn't just have, they didn't have the same open door of opportunity that some of our, uh, some of the other students from a UAB or a UA or an Auburn would have. We're not cranking out this talent just because it's cool. Um, we have very strategic and intentional partnerships within our organization. So we have 25 uh, employer partners. So these are companies and startups that have said, if you train these people, we will, um, when we have these um, job openings open, your students will have priority with our company. You know, we're, I, I kind of feel like we're at the beginning of a renaissance here in Birmingham. And it, and it starts with us being thoughtful. Um, about the kinds of jobs and community development projects that, uh, that we're pushing in our, in our communities. Economic development um, in many other cities across the U.S. has led to increasing levels of exclusion, um, has led to increased levels of displacement both in neighborhoods and culturally. Um, and um, have created cities that are frankly inaccessible to people that built them, right? Um, and so we are being very, very thoughtful about not recreating that in Birmingham because we are experiencing economic growth. We have to be honest about the context in which we're all working in Birmingham. Um, the underemployment rate, the unemployment rate of Jefferson County is what, 10%? Um, what's the poverty rate in Birmingham? 32%. Um, so we have to be honest about the context in which we're working because when we say underdeveloped talent, um, that does not mean that there's necessarily a group of people who have this intelligence that's just lied, lied, has laid dormant. Um, it means that there's a group of people that have been systematically disenfranchised um, and there are gaps in the pathway and to provide wraparound services is 
crucial to um, filling those gaps so that people can move, maneuver around these pathways. It is not charity, it is necessity. We have a lot of conversations around data and what companies need, and you have a lot of partners like the city, um, like training providers, like Adrian's organization and Innovate Birmingham at the table, but we don't have enough companies at the table to talk about what their role is in developing talent here. We need you. We need for our students to see you in whatever business you have. Science, technology, reading, engineering, arts, and mathematics pretty much encompasses everyone.